Hey yo everybody and welcome back to Let's Play 3D.Game Heroes. On the last, last episode we explored Rayjack Village, got some dash boots, got an empty bottle, and a life shard and some other goodies. And on today's episode we'll be going into our first temple. Welcome to the Grass Temple. Master Nicholas, the door leading further in is closed. There must be a hidden gimmick somewhere. You mean like this? Master Nicholas has done it again! Wow! You notice that switch? You inherited so much talent, Master. The orb rafter must be deeper inside. Let's go! Um, you mean I just did Puzzle Solving 101? Also, how about that lighting change? And you can now see how extraordinarily broke the sword is when it's light long like this. I would, however, leave with a word of caution regarding the jars when your sword is like this. You don't want to go breaking stuff and then be all like, Oops! Broke the jars and wasted the apples in them. Now I have nothing to restore my health with. That's bad. So first leading off, we have our first couple rooms right here. And Lee says, hmm, I see a switch on the other side, but how do we push it? If only we had something that could hit that button. Um, I think we may have something of that sort coming very soon. First, let's just grab this key and this little chest here. And we have our maximum uh, power just to wear off soon, like there and stuff. So you have to press X to activate a key. So we'll just kill a couple enemies. Nothing too special. And we're going to get our tutorial on pushing stuff. Perhaps we could push the blocks out of the way. Yeah, I kind of figured that, but here's the thing, though. Sometimes the blocks you can push can be somewhat hard to see if you're... Uh, not astute with your eyes. So, you see these blocks with this sort of pattern? You can't push. These blocks, however, you are more than free to push. That will net you a key. Hold on to the key. Because it's going to be important for one of these next few rooms. Not this one, just a couple of bats and skulls and stuff. Use your spin just to take care of pesky enemies. Oh! Let's open this. The temple map. So now if you hit L1, you get this little handy indicator. There's only one floor here. We're fine. Now this is where you use your fancy schmancy key. So let's go get rid of these guys and, you know... Actually, no, you don't even have to press button at all. Master, you can't expect some cheap shield to block magic beams. You must use your amazing evasion skills to dodge them. Yeah, welcome to fireball traps. They're fun, except they're not. I don't like these things. Master Nicholas, check it out. There's a switch on the wall. Why don't we try to press it? Uh, you mean use Adventurer's Logic 101 to try and get stuff? Yeah, I'm going to do that, because, you know, I'm an, ex an adventurer and stuff, and I need money. So, we now got our first circle button item, the boomerang. Whoosh! Now you can strike foes from afar. It can briefly stun as well as other things, like, you know, bring items to you. This is a handy little weapon for those kind of enemies you just want out of your way right quick. So let's go rob a chest of Chen Ji, hit a switch, grab a key, and then get the hell on out of here. I'm just going to take a quick look at the map and see if there's anywhere else to go around here. No, we have to go all the way around. So with this key in tow, run, run, run as fast as you can, like the gingerbread man and all that stuff. But overall, the grass temple is a walk in the park, especially for those who are well versed in the ways of original Zelda content. So, gee, I wonder how many times I'm gonna say that throughout the LP. God, I'm just 
Jesus. Good enough, enough of that jib jab. Let's get rid of the enemies and ah, do that. Let's get on moving. At the very least, I could say the grass temple actually goes by fairly quickly. But before opening that door, I want to go exploring a little more and see what else I can find. Kill some bats, because bats suck. You can't squeeze your sword through those gaps very well. Can I take that apple? Because it will disappear. Damn it. Better be worth it. Skellies are dead. Dead. Thank you. I believe these can only be pushed once? There we go. Um, let's see. Uh, it's, it's, it's just not going to let me. Yeah, they only go once. Skelly, let's kill him dead. And there's actually a thing we can read here. So, uh, this will give us a small block. And let's see what this has to say. Gloria shines upon one who banishes darkness. Does this mean I need some sort of... Uh, handle or something. I hope not. Either way, let's kill these easy enemies. Swipe some easy G. Not break the pot, but that's an apple we can't even use yet anyway. So let's try and not get ganked by enemies. You know, that would be nice. So let's just use our handy dandy boomerang to stun enemies and chop them to death. Hurry at the boss door. Master, listen! That switch looks a little different. Should we push it? Why, yes, you should. Because it activates a teleporter to uh, take you back to the entrance. So stepping on it takes you all the way back here. And you can keep doing that to keep going back. So I'm going to just try and see what's in this pot. Just yes, let's get that full sword recharged. Get back going to where I didn't explore yet. And let's go right instead of forward. And a bunch of enemies. Chop them down. You know, drill. That's a magic apple. Thank goodness that wasn't a red one. Let's, you know, stab him and stuff. And we get a small key. Now we can go left and stuff. So, now a certain dick move about this certain uh, temple and stuff. First off, I hate these things. Move. Throw another key door at you. At least if this is if I remember correctly. How did I take... Do those guys actually do one full apple damage? Uh, if so, that's kind of a big thing to do. Let's see what happens when I press all these switches. We get... The boss key! But wait! We missed a room! Yeah, that's what happens when you, uh... Use keys foolishly. I get to miss a room entirely. Damn it. Well, I gotta need to. I should have used keys wisely. I always make that mistake. Oh well. Oh crap. Wasn't paying attention. Enemies. <laughs> I should pay attention to my game. That would be kinda nice. Uh, dead, dead, and more dead? That's cool. I'll just take all that. I'm actually doing a lot better this time than I did the last few times actually playing this dungeon. It's more like I'm keeping my distance and not recklessly taking hits. I'm just taking full advantage of uh, my range. Alright. Enemies and- oh crap! That's a crowned uh, skull enemy. Those guys are- yeah, you can be kind of quick. If you're not paying attention, you might be seeing zero health, if you're not careful. These rooms have all been cleared soon enough. And now, these pots would restore, restore life and magic, but let's just go on through.
Say hello to our good old first boss. So what you do is kind of simple. You must have noticed, Master, but it has a weak spot. Obviously, it's the tail, so strike from behind. I could have said that myself, and any parts of the body that aren't the weak point, he starts shooting eight directional fireballs like mad. So you might want to be a little careful about your sword strikes so you don't actually strike the body itself. In which, so I would not advise spin, and he'll try and tail you with uh, those particular uh, fireballs and him trying to eat you like it's a game of snake or something. And each segment of this thing you kill will drop an apple, so just in case you're taking hits, yeah. You shouldn't really have too much of a problem with this guy, and every... As you can see, every piece you strike down, he gets a bit faster. I wouldn't call it too much of a problem. So let's... Oh, gods! Gods, gods! Almighty! Ah, oh, I lost my uh, powerful sword. Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, god! But now he's almost... Oh, I'm almost dead. What am I doing? Oh, no! Oh! Whew! And down descendeth from the heavens money and life up get now have six plentiful apples you there did you and your fairy friend just defeat that snake master nicholas's sword play is remarkable of course we beat it but could you be one of the six sages sir Indeed I am. I am Sage Indy of the Grass Plains. I was reckless. I was captured by evil as I protected the orb. But thanks to you two, I am safe from harm. Well, the king asked us to find the orb, so here we are. My stars, the legacy of the legendary hero. You are his descendant? I see it now in your face. That's right, Sage Indy. Master Nicholas is destined to save us. Indeed, I sense hope in your eyes. Here, take this orb with you. Got the yellow orb. The orbs contain magic greater than any magic one could find in 2D. The task of we sages is to entrust these magical orbs to a hero. The magic of the yellow orb is yours, bearer the hero's mark. You got a shader magic. Parallax. This magic will reveal hidden floor clues at, and the tabu, tabula rasa tablets. However, its use is limited by location. Cast it wherever you suspect that greater meaning lies hidden. Hero, go and obtain the rest of the orbs for the peace of our kingdom. The rest of the sages will teach you the magic of their orbs. Thank you, Sage Indy, but where should we head next? Hmm. Think for the forest temple. To the northwest, you will find the forest of no return. Through those cursed woods, you will find the forest temple. Northwest, thank you again, Sage Indy. Let's go, Master Nicholas. Good, I'll be counting on you too. Oh, Master, have you noticed the E mark on the, equi on the equipment in your menu? You can press the square button to equip or remove these items from your item reel. You want to be efficient when you use L2 or R2 to cycle through items, yes? Try removing items you don't typically use for faster cycling, Master. Actually, a rather handy hint, as you can see here. If you can't use the magic, it has an X on it. Now, for something a little cute. You can press X at this. Revive the boss? Nah, you don't get anything special for actually trying to beat him again. But you will actually want to come back later. Because, actually, if you go into this pause menu, you have bestiary to view booked foes. You'll actually be getting a weapon that's a book coming up. So, uh, let's exit this little palace with all this blinding light. And, uh, I think that'll be it for today's episode. So, on today's episode of 3D.Game Heroes... We tackled the Grass Palace, easy as it was. Took down a boss with uh, quite fancy cinematics. 
And we have this spiffy little magic that can only be used in certain locations. And with the next episode, we'll be heading towards uh, the north west, uh, try and get towards the forest temple. And in between videos, I'm going to do some upgrades to, this, to myself a bit. So with that, I'm a Nick, and I'll see you guys next time. And so, the young soul's adventure begins. Holding an orb in hand, fate whirls around the hero bearing a burden of great responsibility. Come, start your journey, return the light of peace to the kingdom of Dotnia.